who is used to be Sijin University principal for more than 10 years. 2010 lead the university uh, to be ranked at 67 of the uh, university impact of a ranking. And uh, the number one uh, university in Taiwan. Now, next, let us welcome uh, Principal Wang. Wait a minute, I couldn't see the screen. Dear Master Zheng Ye and Master from Jinsi above, and uh, uh, ladies and gen gentlemen, and all the TIMA members, and the uh, volunteers, good morning. I'm very grateful to Father Yao's sharing. As you can see, the vulnerable uh, uh, Buddha of the universe. Uh, just like uh, most of the Tima members, uh, they uh, hear the uh, yelling uh, and a voice of a suffering sentient beings and to reach out to them. I think my my topic is a bit uh, a bit uh, too uh, great. So I because of a time limit. So I just uh, um, briefly uh, to share with uh, my PowerPoint. Uh, because I'm a, a specialist from neurology, that's why I, I want to discuss uh, neuro, uh, neuron and uh, Buddhist sutra. According to the small vehicle uh, sutra, uh, it's just like uh, the micro uh, particle. For example, the quark and the electrons. As you can see, the atom, the size is quite uh, very small and invisible. It's a world of quantum. Uh, uh, our uh, Buddha's uh, teaching in a small vehicle uh, stands for scientific uh, uh, outcome. And for the great vehicle, uh, we developed it into the only consciousness. Everything is the emptiness and the illusion. For the Mahayana uh, Buddhism, uh, they also develop uh, another concept. Every cause and effect is uh, all come from the, the world. From the scientific perspective, the idealism concept. On the early scientist Wheeler, who, who raised up the concept of the particle. And for the scientist Baum, uh, also mentioned about the, um, the quantum field. And also the quantum intolerance. As you, you know, the quantum speed is uh, much faster than the light. So the electric computer is developed based on this concept. But actually, Bohm runs up the, the whole concept of the universe, who is also a great contest, also matching to the uh, idealism concept. And the Bayes theorem uh, 
claims that because the principle is too complicated and most of the uh, following uh, scientific uh, concepts are based on uh, Bayer's theorem. Actually, it's the core of the uh, quantum uh, concept. Uh, from the observer angle to uh, start. Another uh, scientific uh, principle is Schrodinger's uh, principle. It's a web particle du duality. All these two scientists uh, have the, the same uh, point of view. Actually, only conscious theory is same as with idealism uh, from the small vehicle, just like uh, our uh, quantum concept uh, from the very small particle and to the universe uh, scale. I tried to uh, simplify my sharing. I divided uh, the only conscious uh, uh, into the eight uh, conscious. The four more six, uh, four more five uh, conscious is are just like a, a salesman in front of uh, our house, and the six conscious is the person who distinguished uh, the things. Actually, the four more six uh, conscious uh, that are expressed in our. Uh, mind. For the seventh, seventh conscious is a smart guy, attach uh, as much as greed as uh, he can. I will expand the seventh conscious in detail later. The eighth conscious actually is is the seed containing the good and evil. It's like a black box in the fright. So when uh, the seeds mature, then they're going to the next life. See this chart. There's a, a eight conscious, as you can see, is the the main idea of the, our conscious. And from this conscious developed all this uh, material world. The and the, through the four more six and four more seven conscious uh, to observe and uh, grasp all this uh, uh, material develop and produce from the A consciousness. Today, I'm briefly uh, to, sh to explain what is uh, transform the knowledge into the wisdom. And the six, we transform the, the knowledge from the six and the seven uh, into the eight consciousness, into the uh, great perfect uh, wisdom. Uh, we human have uh, the human nature. So from the scientific perspective, uh, we, we can explain uh, and embody this eight consciousness together. So we can see that uh, our first five senses that we have the uh, sensory cortex. And in the six senses, it's like uh, located in our association cortex and the neural cortex. And in the seventh sense, it's located in our limbic system. Uh, so, so in our mammals, we have this uh, limbic system. And also uh, located in our uh, brain system. Uh, brain stand and um, it's our center of survival and where is the eighth sense 
And so far that we assume, we predict that uh, because the seeds can bring seeds, generating seeds. So uh, the asensis is about gene. And gene actually is not very easy, but not so simple. So uh, recently in gene area, we also talk about epigenetics and the microRNA or uh, non-coding RNA. Actually, it has a function to regulate the RNA. So we can see now, you can see this picture, and this is uh, the cortex of our first first five senses. Uh, so you can see that in the different area in the, in the brain, uh, we, we can see that different area of the all the senses, and we have specialized the cortex to correspond all the senses. And just like Dr. Yao, our brother Yao just said that uh, in this era, we, what is the purpose of edu education? And now it's the peak of our technology and civilization, but it's also the most severe era that would destroy the environment and restore the humanity. So you can see that uh, from, from um, like, we are like app and now we are like, uh, the homo erotics. So now the future is coming. And uh, in our early time, that in the first 20 years in our life, we study and after graduation and we work 40 or 50 years, but this kind of pattern has gone. And now we need to think that we have to learn and train ourselves during the whole career. So now this is the age of longevity. And and just like Brother Yao, that in 2066, we will have like more than 10 billion people. So the longevity is a blessing or a curse. So it depends on how we work on it. So um, in early time, that the trilogy of life is very simple. So um, in the first 20 to 25 years, you receive education, then you work for 50 to 65 years, and you retire, and maybe in 80 years old, you pass away. But now in this new era, we need to have a lifelong learning, and also you need to have an interdisciplinary learning. And when you work, you maybe need to change job all the time. So, and you, when you have this longevity, you also need to take care of your health, your relationship. So maybe we retire at 75 years, and after that, we can do volunteer work, but you need to concern about whether you are healthy or not. So now this is a tie era. So in this uh, global, we are tied together. So TIE stands for technology, innovation, and education. So under technology, we have AI, internet, robots, and uh, many human work will be replaced by robots. And innovation, uh, the world can keep changing. So we have many chances and choices, but we also have many challenges. And education also changed. We Now we need to have a continuing and lifelong learning, and we also need to learn actively. So now we learn for the future, especially for our kids. This is totally different from before. If we teach the kids nowadays with the past knowledge that it doesn't work anymore. So we need to make them uh, like, like the lifelong learning and that they have to think independently and to have the ability to create and innovate. So uh, for the first five senses, just like I mentioned, like the first five senses, uh, actually it's about our livelihood education. So it's very important to teach the kids uh, the profession. And uh, we also need to train them with different skills. They need to have uh, different skills and they have to have a creative um, livelihood. And we also need to turn once back to the desire of objects and return to enlightenment. So that's why we can transform the five sense consciousness into all accomplishing wisdom. So we need to use our value and to be more accomplished. But if you want to just make money, by all means, that one day you may have been uh, depleted. So we need to transform the five sense consciousness into all accomplishing wisdom. And now I'm talking about the sixth sense. Actually, this is the most important um, sense because it's uh, related to our neocortex. 
because this is our discrimination base. And you can see that in the sixth sense, um, it has uh, the independently arriving thinking consciousness. So this um, independently arising thinking consciousness is different from the first five senses. So, no. So um, in this uh, independently arising thinking consciousness, there are also some consciousness in the dream. So when you are in the dream, well, you have the conscious, especially, of course you do. Actually, when you sleep, actually the activity, the, the brain is more um, active than you are awake. So uh, we also have this, um, the, the turmoil consciousness is like a very messy consciousness. And there is also the med, uh, consciousness in meditation. So uh, if you practice religion and when you are in meditation, you will have the consciousness in meditation. And uh, we also have so uh, in the sixth sense, the sixth the sixth sense is also affected by the seventh sixth sense, and the seventh sense is also a um, very egocentric sense. So I will mention that later. So actually, uh, this is the previous life and uh, this life of our brain. So you can see that uh, about four million years ago, um, the capacity of a brain is about only 400 cubic centimeter. And now um, our our capacity of brain is uh, more than 1,500 1, cubic centimeter. So why people can be the master of the all living things? This is because we have this gigantic brain that is this proportion of our body weight. And also uh, our network can be more sophisticated and advanced by learning and experience. And we also have a very advanced prefrontal area. And we also have this uh, lobus part totalis inferior area that is in charge of uh, abstract abstract concept. And also uh, we have this anterior scintillated cortex and the mirror neural that to relate to others. And then we also have the language center, which are the broadcast area. So now we see the frontal lobe on those. So this area is in charge of our logic thinking, decision and the controlling of the emotions and our working memory. So the prefrontal lobe, prefrontal lobe is a very uh, specialized and a big area in the area. And actually, um, the prefrontal lobe accounts uh, about 30% of the human brain. And in cats or dogs, or maybe just uh, less than, accounts for less 10%. So um, because we have this large prefrontal lobe, so people, human beings become the master of the all living beings. And uh, now we talk about lobus parietalis inferior. And uh, in this area, this is to integrate our hearing and stimulus and our sight, our visual senses. So we can produce some con uh, abstract thinking. And this is also have the advantage for the human beings to use tools. And we also have the language center. Uh, so you can see that this language center, uh, actually uh, people can speak, it uh, only happened like 50,000 uh, years ago. So because we can speak and uh, communicate with, with each other. So that's why human beings can develop these highly civilizations. So uh, people can read, can speak. That's why we can create the civilization and uh, to accumulate the civilization. So language center is very important to human beings. And also we can relate to others. Uh, you can see that we have this mirror neurons. So uh, we can see that uh, or tell other people's emotions so we can relate to other. So uh, this is because we have anterior cingulate cortex. This is also uh, the area that we can relate and be being compassionate to others. And uh, we also have this kind of sense of happiness in the brain. And in Chenggong University, a study group found that uh, there are an area 
in the brain it's about the sense of happiness so there is an area about the personal happiness so if uh, you have the brighter center of the personal happiness area then uh, this area will expand and that you can relate to other and to concern about other people's happiness so uh, in the, our life education um, this is um, the invisible competitive advantage. So um, the true essence of freedom is to self-contain. And uh, the true essence of the democracy is, is to contain yourself. So, so we need to manage our emotion and to relieve the stress. Don't give up yourself because of the one-time frustration or indulge yourself because of one-time impulse. So only when you can let go all the attachments, then you can receive. And so um, sometimes you gain, sometimes you lose. Don't, so don't be so worried about the gains and loss. So uh, don't fuss about trivial things or compare. So if you anger, actually you punish yourself with other people's faults. And if you are jealousy, actually you torture yourself with other people's strength. So, um, so the capacity is very important. If uh, this is small part and it's easy to be hot, so we need to um, increase your capacity, your tolerance. So in our educational system, uh, Master Zhen Yan pay many pay much attention to the, the adequate and the dress code. And but I, uh, so uh, Master Zheng Yan think this is very important in the education system. So we pay a lot of attention to our dress codes, our adequate and our manner. And we also uh, focus on our the, the personality, the personality, the morality, and we also focus on the knowledge and uh, the well-mannered and um, dignified manner. So the university is like a book without words. So uh, the life is like a foggy forest. So I think uh, the education in daily life is very important. So we uh, need to have the uh, disciplined uh, uh, consideration and uh, humble virtue. In this way, we have a, a smooth uh, life uh, journey. So in this modern time, uh, everyone needs to have a professional. If without professional, we're just like uh, flies uh, in the glass uh, windows, uh, cannot uh, fly out. But uh, uh, if we just only have the one professional without the humanitarian, which is like a little bird and wouldn't uh, fly high. So we need to have uh, both professional and the humanitarian, just like, uh, like a uh, uh, excellent talent, but unfortunately, they uh, they don't supported by the humanitarian. So, uh, transform the uh, knowledge into the wisdom from the sixth sense. Uh, during the evolution of the, our brain, uh, it help us to become the master of all uh, sentient beings. And also become another attachment to ourselves. So if we can turn it from the six senses, to turn the confusion into the wisdom. Now I'm going to explain the, what is the seventh sense. And it's the lim uh, limbolic uh, system. And uh, related to our emotion and uh, consideration. The whole limbolic system uh, is remind us as a mammal animal. It's the uh, uh, interfacts uh, between our mind and body. Uh, in this chart, it, the, the upper is the sixth, the 
the six sums, and the above is the seven sums. Uh, if the six sums uh, can be turned and changed, and uh, it can bring some inference to the six, seven sums, just like uh, Brother Yao mentioned, uh, if uh, we wouldn't do this, we were just like our ancient, uh, ancient ancestors. In fact, from the brain stand and the neurotransmitter uh, speciality, just like uh, most of the superintendent specialists, we know there's a three routes uh, to transform the signal to our brain, just like uh, the, the sixth sense uh, uh, bring the signal to the seven sense. If you like something, then you will, uh, your brain will produce the, uh, much chemicals, and this will help you to produce the attachment. And the thing of life is just like uh, we don't have the desire, then we wouldn't survive. And also, if we chase our desire too much, then we will have so much ignorance and loss again. And also, uh, horror comes after and brings us the anxiety and the illusion. Every sentient beings are originated from the same source. Uh, actually, well, in our uh, genetic uh, sequence, we are 99, 99.5% similar to other uh, sentient beings. So from the historic, historic uh, journey, we are all from the same family, brothers and sisters. Even genes and the uh, virus are our brothers. But through the evolution, uh, we started to go different way from the chimpanzee or a gorilla. Master Zheng Yin often mentioned the gorilla Coco. Uh, what is, uh, what is, uh, who is Coco? Uh, which is the gorilla can learn uh, 1,000 American Sign Language uh, vocabularies and can create third, uh, three to eight, uh, uh, create some sentence uh, containing three to eight uh, vocabularies and tell us need to cherish our environment. So don't tell uh, the uh, uh, sister uh, if he, she knows that uh, Coco is so smart, then uh, we will be uh, condemned that we are uh, uh, Coco is, is even smarter than a human. So in this chart is describing uh, how uh, so many uh, animals are killed every day. And uh, we, we human beings just uh, uh, eat as many animals as we can. Our mouths become the uh, inventory of the animal. And uh, making the Mother Earth uh, to uh, running fever. In fact, we know it's really bad for the environment uh, to raise uh, to raise so much, uh, so many stocks and animals. And the uh, animal racing consumes so much resource like water and they produce so much pollution. As, as we know, uh, the America, they are suffering from the wildfire. Just like uh, uh, the Buddha Sutra described, uh, the whole world just in, in flames. And even the uh, natural disasters uh, is indescribable and in uh, so from the uh, 
information age, we have witnessed uh, so much uh, uh, shortage, uh, the climate change, uh, political killing, and the, uh, the social uh, and the so social disorder. People are blind by the the media. So from the seventh sense, uh, uh, it is can be the uh, life education. So, uh, we need to respect the lives. Actually, in this uh, seventh sense, is kind of a contamination. We need to transform the contamination into the purification. We now uh, we know that we are in the uh, scientific age of the uh, synonism and much of the uh, principles uh, help us to understand the, the principle of universe we know the structure of the molecule is just like a, a described like a graph this is the, the process uh, to form our uh, flesh body or dna is the root to help a human, human and uh, all sentient being to produce the next generation. And the, set, uh, the eight sense is alaya, conscious. Uh, I will describe it uh, in detail later. Uh, from the Buddhism, it's just like uh, we, bring, we bring the seed we saw into the next lifetime. What we have done will influence our genes. And more, uh, more than 2,000 genes uh, have the reaction inside our brain. So if we can, uh, actually our action can influence our genes. Human has more than 22,000 uh, 22, uh, genes. So actually, it's uh, part of a, a sectional DNA to form our flesh body and coordinate with the RNA to the surface gene. gene. All, all these chemical functions, uh, including the methylation and the histoacylation, is so complicate, complicated, so I'll skip it. So for the N DNA and uh, non-coding DNA, it's just like a, uh, has been uh, planted, so a reversed, reversed genome. Actually, uh, this uh, non-coding DNA can create the main uh, microRNA, and uh, this can regulate our gene and the performance of the gene. And now I'm talking about uh, our love uh, in the medical school. Actually, now we have a new vision of our anatomy teaching. Actually, I think in this, uh, our new anatomy ch changing actually already transformed all the senses, A senses. So it's a very good um, humanity and um, life and death uh, teaching. It is a very good uh, humanity um, routine. Uh, and now because uh, more than 40,000 people already signed uh, the agreement of, to be the donor of a body. So the uh, students um, in at home and abroad and also the professor from abroad will come here and to learn. And we have eight, eight times a year to have the opportunity to learn the anatomy. And uh, so we, Increase, we upgrade, update the uh, basic medicine to practical um, medicine. So uh, you can learn here and you won't make the same mistake on your patients. So uh, this kind of uh, education is uh, featured in New York Journal, in uh, the New York Times. So uh, this is uh, the ecological view of life. 
So uh, in complete enlightenment sutra, we say that all beings wrongly see appearing and extinguish in the state that everything does not exist. Therefore, it is named being born and dead repeatedly. Actually, one day, we, we see all the born or exist, they are all false. So um, in the treatise of uh, Nirvana is unnameable. We say that heaven and earth can intervene together and the mirror things and I are oneness. So uh, in the transformation of the eight sense, it's a life and death education. Actually, you not just having this one life, you may have the life beyond this life. So we need to see beyond life and death and to destroy the delusion and to prove the truth. So uh, how much is the distance between us and the goodness? Actually, the distance between us and the good. Actually, in our DNA, we have the uh, good roots and also evil roots. And in the society, we have the good affinity and also evil affinity. So actually, the distance is it's just between the thin line or just within one thought. So altruism can also benefit yourself. So now scientists, scientists also already prove that uh, the positive thinking can change your neural connection. So the positive thinking and uh, actions can focus on to create a new behavior models, new behavior patterns. Actually, this can change uh, the synaptic connection in your brain and to form new connections. So you can have a lasting biological change and create your new mental reality. So uh, your reaction actually can really change your neuron and your gene. And so you might think that it's very difficult. Actually, you don't have to worry about. Actually, the six and the seven um, senses are trans forming in this course, and uh, the fifth and eighth senses are transforming in the realm of results. So um, the sixth and the seventh sense transformation is the most important. And uh, if you change the sixth and seventh sense, actually, uh, the five and eight sense can transform automatically. So the sixth sense is the most important because the sixth sense can control the seventh sense. So if we, uh, we want to evolve and advance our upgrade ourselves, the sixth sense is the most important and the critical. So um, I also like to uh, mention about the natural dependent arising. And actually, it's very in interesting. We can see that uh, we see something. Uh, the wave that we can see is about uh, 400 to 700 nan nanometer. Uh, but other species like uh, the bats, they can see different waves. So uh, what we see is just we perceive. So uh, all the things is uh, our consciousness created. And uh, you see uh, the people with the uh, white, white gone. Or actually, what you see is just uh, the light reflection. So when you see some people see the white gone, actually it just means that light doesn't absorb the wave. And like a doctor y'all and wear the head, the black suit, actually this is just the light reflection and absorb all the light. So we don't know what's the object. Actually, it's just what we perceive. So. And also, uh, the empty in nature and the name only. So what we see, just we put a name to it, which is a meaning to what we we see. So uh, the perfect accompanying nature of reality is the most important thing. So what is the greatness of uh, our education? We need to apply both the compassion and the wisdom. We need to encourage uh, our students or uh, the own session beings to have the consciousness because when we absorb the observe the uh, empty, we observe the existence and we observe we observe and look inside. It's like our lineage. But uh, when you see the kindness and see the wisdom, then you can see the tathagata. So you can see the tathagata. 
so you can see the um, existence and the empty. So when you understand this, actually, the death and life actually is just come and go. There's no destroying and no existence. I think this is uh, the greatness uh, the Buddhism can teach us. So when I was in Japan during the, uh, the earthquake, March 11th earthquake, earthquake. So uh, because uh, the people in Japan is very touched by what Suji done to relieve their disaster, the earthquake disaster. So they want to study what's the difference between uh, Suji and the uh, Buddhism in Japan. And they, th this is what they wrote. And uh, I told them that Shiji is is um, compassion and to save the world. And I use those words to summarize what Shiji do. So uh, this is uh, one truth, many meanings. Because in this uh, human life, we have many challenges we need to overcome. So we have to do it with utmost effort. We need to have our vow and faith to practice. So that's how we can um, have no regrets in our life. So this is what I told them, what Suji volunteers did. This is how we do. So now uh, I only have two minutes left. I'll just uh, summarize. I'll just finish here. And um, now I'd like to say thank you to all of you all around the world. And I think that we followed steps of um, Master Zheng Yan. We have no complaints, no regret, and no ignorance. And uh, now in Taiwan, we are very safe. Uh, and we need to thank heaven, thank earth, and thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. OK. Thank you.